Mr. Sibba, the government's argument is that it is their job, or at least it should be their job, to have a say in the appointment of judges. Uh, they are yeah. saying, A, the collegium system isn't transparent, and B, more importantly, uh, it, it, there is no mention of it in the Constitution. Well, that's a judgment of a court, unless they don't accept the judgment. They don't. They, they, they say it was wrong to review, strike it down. To ask for a review. It's been struck down. Last time they tried to put in the NGAC, it was struck down. Why? Because they want to usurp that power. You see, previously it was in consultation, appointment was in consultation with the Chief Justice of India. Right? That's the original, consti original constitutional provision. The court said in consultation means that the Chief Justice knows better. That's what it means. So it's a matter if of it, interpretation. Yes, the Chief Justice knows better and therefore it is the judiciary who will decide because they know who are the lawyers and who are the judges who need to be appointed. What's wrong with that? And the judgment is, the, the, the government is consulted. The names are sent up. If you have any problem, send back the names. But the government the says reason. you can't treat us like a post office. You have sent the we have it. That's the original constitutional provision is also that. Because who is the government to know which lawyer is good and which is bad? You mean there's ministers? Ministers nowadays, law ministers only have degrees. They don't practice. Would they know sitting in their office? as to which lawyer is efficient and who is, who is not efficient. Therefore, what happens is they want their own people there. They, they have their own people in universities now. Their vice chancellors are theirs. The governors in the states are theirs who sing their praises. The, uh, I don't, the less said about the election commission, the better. Uh, the, uh, all public offices are controlled by them. They have their own people in the ED, they have their own people in the income tax, they have their own people in the CBI who are now persecuting people. They want their own judges too. But when the government says we have, we represent the will of the people, the parliament represents the will of the people, and if parliament or the government uh, wants a say in the appointment of judges, what they have is a say. wrong? They have a say. Not enough, according to them. Not enough is something that is that is to be dealt with, though, in a court of law, not the individual diktat of a minister or a government. Not enough means what? They want they want the final say. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want their own people there. That's their game plan because now they have kept. That's why this this issue has come up because they have such an absolute majority. They think they can do what they they can do what they want. Uh, and, and if this is true, mm -hmm. then, then obviously the basic structure theory is also wrong because parliament is supreme, they represent the will of the people, there is no concept of a basic structure of the constitution, they can take away our fundamental rights, mm -hmm. they can do what they like because it's the will of the people as long as they are in majority. But that's not acceptable in any democracy. Uh, but do, are we treating the Supreme Court like a holy cow by saying that they cannot be questioned? Who's treating, who is treating the Supreme Court as a holy cow? There are people, there are judges who have been sought to be impeached. Uh, we make a, we, and, and I, I that you not, cannot question I'm not the saying Court. that the collegium system is perfect. Hmm. I, have, hmm. I have a lot of concerns about the way the collegium system works, but I'm more concerned about the fact that the government wants to capture the appointment of judges as well and have their own people there of their particular ideology. That's, I mean, between the two, I'd any day prefer the collegium system. What are your concerns about the collegium Many system? Many concerns. It's non-transparent. Hmm. It's non-transparent. Hmm. I think that um, that there's a lot of camaraderie. Uh, do you want to say nepotism? I don't want to say anything. A lot of camaraderie. Hmm. And of, of course, human beings are human beings. People have their likes and dislikes. Hmm. People become chief justices. They want to, uh, you know, promote people who they have been with, who they like consider them to be good judges. Nothing wrong with that. And, uh, and then what's even worse, and that's the worst part of the collegium system, is that high court judges now look at Supreme Court judges, right? Mm. For their appointment, mm. for their elevation to the Supreme Court. So it has, in fact, to some extent, um, impacted the independence of high court judges as well. Because uh, they constantly look at the Supreme Court and want to please those judges to show that, look, they are the ones who should be appointed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's not good. That's not good at all. So I have a lot of concerns about the collegium system, but be that as it may, mm -hmm. I will be the last person to allow this to happen if it is in my control, in my hands. Mm -hmm. I will raise my voice to say the last citadel of democracy 
is the court, and if that falls, we have no hope left.